Hi, this is Cameron back again with another CD Finds video. So basically I want to talk a little bit about first about uh, why I buy CDs rather than vinyl at some times. So I love vinyl first. Uh, it's my preferred medium of consuming music, of listening to music. But when I'm faced with the, the really uh, thin pickings in our, in our bargain bins, and the high prices for new LPs, as well as modestly high prices for uh, for used LPs, I find myself turning more and more to the bargains that are available in CDs, especially CD box sets. So why do I like CD box sets? Well, CD box sets provide good value for your money. So often I can find music that's unavailable easily uh, in other formats, and secondly, the price is so so inexpensive. So let me get started to show some examples of what I've picked up recently. So to start off with, I picked up during my Christmas purchases for other people. I was highly tempted to buy some music for myself. So I got a box set of the albums by the birds that I was missing. So I got what's called the original album classics of uh, of the birds. So this includes the first five albums, and it was around twenty dollars. So first of all, of course, Mr. Tambourine Man. They come, as you can see, with their own individual sleeves, as well as bonus cuts. Secondly, turn, turn, turn. Third, Fifth Dimension, Fourth, Younger Than Yesterday, and finally the Notorious Bird Brothers. As I said, I picked up all five of these, got to hear the full album, plus if I wanted to hear the bonus tracks, those were available for me. And all for about twenty dollars, so about for about four dollars each. How can I get that with my LPs? So as I said, I pr don't get me wrong, I prefer LPs over CDs, but with these kinds of bargains available, I found it very difficult to resist purchasing the CD box set. Another one I got was the first five albums by the Incredible String Band. This is again in the original album series. Well, the other one was original album classics. This series is called the original album series. and it features the original albums Incredible String Band, the first album so this is a different cover, I have the other one as an individual CD next up 5000 Spirits or the Layers of the Onion I have this on LP already great album all around the Hangman's Beautiful Daughter, Wee Tam, and the Incredible or the Incredible String Bands, the the Big Huge. So I already had Wee Tam and I already had uh, Five Thousand Spirits, but to get the other three plus the other two in a convenient format that I could take to work listen to while I'm working away got them all for under twenty dollars and uh, there were five of them okay oops just putting away the CDs next up I picked up six Wait, five of the first six albums by Terry Reed. Again, on the original album series. Get these out. A little tough to get out of the box sometimes. There we are, just give it a little shake. 
Okay, the first one is Bang Bang, your Terry Reed. It's got a great husky bluesy voice. Second up, the one I have on LP and I absolutely love, and I still think after listening to all these albums is his best. So Terry Reed, I think in the Canadian edition it's called Move Over Your Terry Reed, or Move Over For Terry Reed. Terry Reed, self-titled. Next up, The River, which I also have an LP. Rogue Waves. And then a later one from 1991 is uh, The Driver. He's still got his great voice. Now, I had ordered separately Seat of Memory, which is not included in this selection of albums in this collection, but the uh, company imported CD sent me the wrong CD, electronic music, started here. They're telling me that to get my the one I ordered, I've got to send this back to them, which is pretty upsetting to me. It's a real hassle. I may end up just conforming to keeping this one and ordering from a different vendor for the seat of memory. I'll have to decide. Okay. Oh, other box sets I picked up. Johnny Cash, Walking the Line, the legendary Sun Recordings. I got this for under $10 for three CDs with almost all his uh, selections off Sun Records. So it's a three CD box set, as you can see. Then I tried out a new series for me on Real Gone Records. So Chuck Berry, five classic albums plus bonus singles and rare tracks. Again, this was about $12. And I get his first five albums plus all his singles up to 1961. Uh, so the albums are After School Session, One Dozen Berries, uh, Chuck Berry on Top, Rockin' at the Hops and new jukebox, jukebox hits and includes uh, some unreleased and alternate versions as well. Now the other one I got, which was a great deal for me because I've, I'm have i not that familiar with his music, but I got the first four Sun Ra albums plus some singles, which surprised me because the singles were started off with sort of a doo-wop vocal style and then gradually moved into the jazz that we know Sun Ra for. So Jazz by Sun Ra Supersonic class, uh, supersonic jazz, jazz and silhouette, and the futuristic sounds of Sun Ra. So between 1956 and 61. Now, the downside of these collections are that, uh, or the upside obviously, is that you get great songs for very cheap, and albums that are not so easily available on vinyl. The downside, of course, is that there's no liner notes and not much beyond uh, just a listing of what the um, what the songs are and the albums are and they aren't in individual sleeves so I wish if they'd been in original sleeves like the original album series I would have been really happy if they'd been in cardboard sleeves okay next up got some great deals at a 50 percent off uh, LP and CD sale at Christmas time New Year, or Boxing Day uh, for my local record store, got uh, so for three fifty I got Bubble Puppy, Gathering of Promises, which was great for me because I had to during a time in which I needed to raise some cash, I sold off my original LP. Camel, I can see your house from here. The that is from nineteen seventy nine. Caravan for Girls Who Grow Plump in the Night, 1973. So these are all half the price listed. So they ranged about uh, $2.50 to about $3.50. CCS, this is their second album. Uh, it was sort of a horn-based thing. Didn't really, inter didn't really interest me so much. But I was curious, so I tried it out. Grateful Dead's first album, which joins my LP. So this was for three dollars. Mother Gong, Tree and Fish, also three dollars. 
I thought this was a regular James Gang album, but it turns out it's the greatest hits. So for two and a half dollars, that's okay anyways. Vandergraaff Generators Pawn Hearts, which is from 19, uh, let's see, 1971. Now at a local bookstore, McNally, McNally Robinson in Winnipeg, Canada, I picked up uh, a number of the Wounded Birds, which seem to be blown out at a cheap price. So for five bucks, I got uh, some psychedelic and prog rock. So first of all, Beast, I believe this is from uh, 1969, a little bit psychedelic. Charisma, which I had never heard of before. This is from 1969 as well, sort of a prog influence. Mandela, Soul Crusade, which is from 1968. I do have this on LP. It's a Canadian band, R&B. With Dominic Triano, Mephistopheles, in trust, oh wait, in frustration I hear singing. This is from 1969 as well. And then I believe from 1972, yeah, New Heavenly Blue, which is more of a country rock band. Again, all these were $4.99. And finally, some albums I picked up for uh, about 75 cents each, mostly, for the most part. At another record store, had in its bargain bin. Uh, didn't know I already had this, so I'll give this to my brother, Coverdale Page. Elton John, Sleeping with the Past. So this has shown me, actually, that the period I dismissed of his from the 80s and 90s, there is some good music. So I'll have to check out more of his catalog in that period. So I had only been buying his 70s and 2000s albums, but the 80s and 90s are worth at least taking a look. I thought that they were really sappy and syrupy, but there is some decent music. John Mellencamp, Whenever We Wanted. Turns out this is a double as well, but I'll give this to my brother. He'll really enjoy it. Soundtrack of Our Lives. Throw it to the universe. This was a find. I didn't know what it was, but I saw it was on EG Records. So it turns out it's a Robert Fripp uh, collaboration with his wife called Sunday All Over the World. Um, Kneeling at the Shrine. Quite a difficult album, really challenging. The Thrills, So Much for the City. Figgy Duff, Downstream, Folk Rock. Annie DeFranco, Imperfectly, I've seen her live a couple times. Still getting used to her music. Folk Rock. Uh, a Wyndham Hill uh, collection of folk called Legacy, a collection of new folk music with Ian Matthews, who I've seen live from Fairport Convention. Molly Johnson, Another Day, which is some good Canadian jazz. Ray Charles, Blues in a Sentimental Key. I think this is a budget label collection. Classic Rock Presents Prog, number 39, the magazine. Uh, great prog rock uh, collection of mostly new bands, but also Barclay James Harvest. All, uh, many of them are comparable to Genesis and Yes. And then finally, great album by Nico Case. The harder things get, the harder I fight, the harder I fight, the more I love you. So fantastic country rock. I've seen her live a few times and really, really appreciate her uh, great sound. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your view on, on inexpensive, uh, great music available on CD versus uh, LP uh, higher prices. Okay, uh, leave your comments. Have a good day. Bye-bye.